You know who Nat wants on the show. Who do they want? Mike Epps. <laughs> we gotta have Mike Epps. I, 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 I don't know if that's what happened. I, mean, I, I don't. I, I don't. I don't. I don't look at. I don't. Because I don't want to start that precedent. I got the you. one thing that you don't want somebody to insult you and then feel that they can come on your platform and clear the air. Yeah. So I don't want to start. That's a very, very. You have to be very, very careful because that's a very dangerous precedent to set. Mm. Is there um, an idea that you might take Club Seychelles to Paris for the Olympics? <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> I would take it to Club Seychelles, take it to Paris. But we have reached out to some people that we feel very, very strongly that can make the team, and they're going to be our correspondents on Nightcap. Yeah, yeah, Big J TV. Appreciate y'all for tuning in. Best way to support this channel again is to press that like button best way to uh to show love to the channel man i appreciate all the new subscribers all the returning subscribers i uh, love and appreciate each and every one of y'all i see that like 90 percent of my watchers ain't subscribed click that subscribe button man It'll make my day a lot better but let me shout let me give a major shout out huge shout out to unk shining sharp for whether I, I, it's obviously not me, <laughs> I'm obviously not the one giving him advice or any type of wisdom or clarity or point of view. It ain't me, obviously. But there's somebody very smart in his corner who's telling him how to move, and that what he said at the very beginning of this clip that he's not going to give his platform to the haters to the people who lie on him right see this is something that's facts had shannon sharp actually given mike epps an interview he's absolutely right it would have started a president it would have started a president see you need to teach people how to treat you this is just a big lesson of that life you have to teach people how to treat you now we're not going to, maybe in certain situations, it's right for Donnell Rollins to pull up on Corey Holcomb, who just talks back about him, right? It's, it's, I think that was an appropriate reaction. Check out my, my previous video, right? But essentially what Shannon Sharp is doing here is that he's made, let it be known that if you're talking smack about him in the public, in the open, He's not going to bless you with his platform because guess what it is? He's blessed and highly favored. He's blessed and highly favored. And I personally believe that what's going to happen is, and I've predicted this many times, is that Shannon Sharp is going to go over. He's This is just the beginning of his ascension, per se. He's the black Joe Rogan. Do you understand how much Spotify gave Joe Rogan? Two weeks ago, Spotify gave Joe Rogan $250 million. <laughs> yeah, yeah, $250 million. I'm going to say something controversial again. I think Shannon Sharp is lining up on that path, bro. His interviews, specifically the one with Kat that took him to another stratosphere, is lining him up to get a 260 close to 300 million dollar payday very very soon so he has to be careful with which people he platforms on his podcast a lot of people will have a career revival will have a new brand will have a new light shined upon them man shannon shop just had a, a an interview with uh johnny manzel that that's gonna hit five million very very soon he doesn't work in the regular interview platforms. It's hitting millions upon millions. And what's going to happen is ESPN or Fox Sports or even Apple. I'm talking about the company Apple is going to come to him and the volume, which is owned by Colin Cowherd, and give them an offer to buy them out for somewhere of $500 million or more. Right. I think that's going to happen. That's my prediction. I don't know who is going to give the bag, but somebody's going to come with a massive bag. They're going to say, we want to buy you out. <laughs> and you don't think uh, Shay Shay Unk is going to say yes. Hey, he's probably going to say yes. It's going to be a crazy bag. But with the bag, it comes great responsibility. Great power comes great responsibility. Shouts out to Uncle Ben on my Spider-Man vibes. You have to overstand. 
that you have a lot of impact and a lot of power. And individuals such as Eddie Griffin, Mike Epps, Corey Holcomb, they cannot touch or smell your platform. See, this is the thing about respect. Respect is earned, right? And you don't have to respect people who've disrespected you. Now, could you have common courtesy? Yes. But for an individual to lie on your name, threaten to shoot you once you reply to the disrespect and the lies, for them to be blessed with your platform? Hell no. Nah. Hell to the no, no, no. No, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. And I, I say that as an individual who, myself, I've worked really hard, but I don't deal well with people who disrespected me or I've heard of them disrespecting me in private. And then all of a sudden, you smiling in front of my face, F out of here. I don't do that, cuz. I don't do that, bro. And I respect Shannon Sharp for sticking with that principle. And I respect him for seeing the bigger picture and his impact. What do y'all think? Get in the comments, man. You know what I mean? I'm happy that he pieced it up with Mike Epps. But just because we have peace doesn't mean that we're going to be body body. <laughs> the hell you think this is, man? Get in the comments. Let me know what y'all think. It's Big J TV. I appreciate everybody for showing love. Check out these videos on the end screen. I'm out.